After I'd suffered terrifying interviews, received my Alborn admissions letter and fussed about buying capes and cooking pots, in the summer before starting Oxford I received some holiday work. Various books were set, yet others were set more forcefully, and I was given an essay to prepare for my first tutorial. Being, by some definitions, human, I of course left this all to the very last minute. It was two weeks before I was due to report, eager-eyed and bushy-tailed at my castle-like college, that I finally decided to pick up a book. And I was panicked. <laughs> I was sure all the others would have worked on their essays all summer. I was sure I was going to be the stupid one in the group. The moment I began to read, I realised there was far more to know than two weeks could ever cover. Every book I read just seemed to point me to further books I really should read. Every tiny thing I learnt just served to point out my gaping ignorance on the subject as a whole, and point me to mounds more stuff I really should set about learning. I was so unhappy as I walked to that first tutorial, some crumpled words on Browning clutched half-heartedly in my fist. And yet I have never, in the year and a half of degree that has passed since then, ever been able to spend so much time on an essay since. Our first meeting done, I surprisingly didn't stand out as particularly stupid amongst my peers, and my essay wasn't held up as the worst thing ever ladled into a Word document, even accepting the results of cats sleeping on keyboards. But still, I knew I could have done better. And I resolved to do better for next week's essay. Only next week's essay was, as is implied by the title I've just awarded it, next week. I had only a single week to do that one. And looking back at that now, gosh what a luxury even that seems. On average here, I would say that for a degree that revolves around writing, you are set about two essays per week. Which I would argue, by most university standards, would have you viewer shaking your head in disbelief. You'll say three and a half days is not enough time to do an essay. And I will heartily agree with you. But then I realise a week was not enough time to do an essay. And two weeks was not enough time to do an essay. I'm not sure what enough time to write an essay is, but I've yet to discover it. Ultimately, you have to accept the unacceptable, which is that you will never know everything. You'll have never read everything you should have. You'll have never seen everything you should have. You'll have never talked to all the people it would have been helpful to interrogate. Yet never accept that to the extent where you stop reading and seeing and talking. In that first tutorial, and pretty much in every tutorial I've ever had since, I've had the shocking realisation that essays are not the finishing point. They are a manner in which you demonstrate what you know at this particular point in time. They're all you've managed to claw together in the few days in which you've laboured under that particular question. They've always been something other than a final product. The act of writing them has helped you formulate your ideas. Reading them to your tutors and your fellows has helped you communicate what you know, meagre though it may currently be, and hopefully given way to discussion and debate and further consideration of that particular topic. For the past few weeks, I've been struggling with a video idea. It's a video I've really wanted to make for quite a long time. In fact, I've considered making it a few times in the past as well, and every single time, simply never been able to write the script. Every time I try to, I go off on a new tangent. I realise there are huge areas I've failed to explore. I realise I don't know enough. The thing with the essays Oxford forces you to do is, upon having written them, I've never been happy with them. And maybe I would have been a bit happier with them if I'd had a bit more time. Although, looking at the evidence, I doubt it. No matter how much time I'm given, it's never enough. I'll never know the topic as well as I would have liked to. Regardless of my feelings upon creating those essays, though, I've been happy with the results of a lot of them. Whether that be marks that come out of them, the discussions that come from them, or maybe the inspiration I get for the next or another piece. Ultimately, if Oxford has taught me anything, it is to write from the position of ignorance. Because, no matter what, I will never know all I wish and all I should. Therefore, deadline set, I'm going to get this video that's been plaguing me up on Monday. You're all witnesses to this, you have to make me do it now. And I apologise now that it will have faults and holes and be missing bits. But if I don't do something, incomplete though that something may be, I may never do anything. And at least, hopefully, it will communicate my ideas up to this point. It will start discussions, and it may lead to better videos. Oxford forces you to do terrible essays, but I've never got more out of such essays in my life. I'll paint you the picture. It was two weeks before I was due to report at my castle-like college, bushy-eyed and eager-tailed, that's not right. 